The new year brings with it a highly motivated state. You might have noticed that. There's a name for that. We call it prediction bias. And uh, that is where we predict our future behavior based on how we feel right now. The one that comes to mind, and I'm not a smoker, never smoked, but the, the smoker that says, I'm done with cigarettes. I am done. No more cigarettes. Uh, underestimating the urge that's going to come up in a, in a few hours. It's also the uh, highly optimistic state when we are making decisions based on a full stomach. So right now, you might be saying after Christmas, New Year, I'm never eating sugar again. I am good. I've had my fill. And we are underestimating uh, that maybe ravenous appetite that might be coming up later on. So we're all guilty of prediction bias. And there's a really disturbing study that was done on this. I mean, really disturbing study, which I'm going to talk about in, I don't know, maybe Peak Week or maybe the 21 Day Program, but I can't believe they did it. Anyway, the way to get around prediction bias is to realize that we do it and to plan ahead. Um, plan ahead for social events, plan ahead for hunger. Um, and these are all the things I cover in my coaching. But anyway, prediction bias, it's a real thing and it's really prevalent right now.